Hey guys, I am Jeff the Homestead Dad, and this is Homestead Boy 2. And get that out of here. And welcome to Homestead. So, my wife took the five other kids to uh, Mass. He and I went to Mass last night after the Michigan game, the debacle where they lost. Um, so, we're going to do the chores quick, and then I'm going to get out the target, the bullet, um, the bullet catch. Also, planning on separating. The sheep and the cows. I'm gonna put the cows over there and keep the sheep here because I think I've got somebody coming to pick them up today. So then we'll be down to just the two cows. So hopefully hay will start lasting longer yet. Um, and then I wanted to show you. So when I was out here with Homestead Boy one two days ago, um, I was standing here and looking that way. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the target right about here, <clears throat> and then I can back up. I should. You can see I'll be shooting down at it. It's a good distance. I can get, you know, 10 to 30 yards out. I can back up another 20 yards if I wanted to, so I could shoot, you know, a 50 yard handgun shot, which is a long handgun shot. Um, but then also, if I wanted to um, put a rifle target out, I could put a rifle target like right here. I'd still have the ground to shoot into. There's nothing behind there. There's no houses, there's no people. Uh, it's just woods and then the marsh. Um, but as long as I put the target low enough, like here, so that even if I miss high, it still hits ground, will be good. And I could probably even get about a 100-yard shot, so that'd be sweet. And I could put a table here for a shooting table. So that's what I'm thinking. I hope you enjoyed yesterday. I think I um, uploaded three videos because um, on Friday, we, did, we just got so much stuff done here. And I wanted to show you guys what we did, especially with getting the, the milking parlor ready. Um, I didn't want to cut a ton of stuff out. Sometimes I'll try to cut things just to, you know, make it not quite so long. But I didn't want to cut so much stuff, so it ended up being a two-parter. And then yesterday's vlog, so this morning, Sunday, uh, I think I had posted at like 8.30, 10.30, and 12.30. And I've got actually got another video in the can ready to go for one of those days where uh, I don't have a, a video ready. So I'm going to get these guys fed. We're going to start moving targets. We're going to move some sheep and cows. It's going to be another great day. So remember how lately I've been wondering if Prudence is pregnant? Well, just popped up on my Facebook feed this morning, the first day we brought her home. So it was a year ago today, and she was a heck of a lot skinnier then. So I think we're good. So with a little help of a scoop of green, we have the cows on one side, sheep on the other, locked gate in between. All is well. Let's go grab the target. We used the tractor, brought it down here. I put some two by sixes underneath this side because it was kind of leaning, so now it's more level. Um, and then I stapled the IDPA um, target up there. If you haven't heard of the IDPA, I think it's International Defensive Pistol Association. Um, they, all throughout the year, mostly in the summer, or spring, summer, and fall in the north here in Michigan, they have competitions. And it's just a competition to sharpen your skills and you can see <clears throat> on the target here, there's a, a zero and a zero. So what they do is you run a, a course and then you have your time. And then if you shoot outside of the zeros, like this is negative one, you get added a second onto your time. Negative three, you get added a second onto your time. And I forget if you shoot black or miss the target, it's like 10 seconds or something, which is like a catastrophic timing failure. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you like shooting pistols, be something for you guys to look into. I'm gonna go figure out which guns we're gonna shoot and we'll get to this. So the gentleman showed up to pick up the sheep. Uh, we, catch, we caught them. He's tied three of their legs. He's gonna put them in the back of his car and then he'll take them back and butcher them. Um, went really well, so this is quick. And now we can get ready to head over to the Michigan basketball game that I'm taking the kids to. So this guy's wearing a Michigan hat, so I love that. Hey guys, so we're getting ready to head to the Michigan basketball game. Um, we got these tickets from a friend of mine from high school, actually. Um, we kind of reconnected recently over basketball at, our, at my church. And he had some tickets that he wasn't using, so I'm going to take the three oldest. We're going to go watch some basketball, so it's going to be pretty sweet. We're not taking this behemoth because... Driving this downtown Ann Arbor is not the most fun experience in the world. 
Um, we're gonna take the minivan. My wife is gonna take this. She's got a couple errands to run. So we're gonna go. So the nice thing about living where we do is we're 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Ann Arbor. So we left at 3.15 and made it down here by 3.30, 3.35 for a four o'clock game. So we don't have to spend a whole day. Whereas if we're going downtown Detroit, it's more like 45 minutes to an hour to get down there. So it just takes, you know, you've got a plan for that. This is, you know, we could leave really quickly. It works nice. The kids are having fun. You guys can see that right there. That's Michigan football field. It's the cool thing about Michigan is the football field is right here. The basketball stadium is right there. So we watched the Michigan win. We're sitting here. I want to show you guys the court. Court's right there, now you can't see us. We're gonna head home. Oop, come on, where are we at? We're gonna head home, we'll see you guys in a bit. The football field is open, so we're gonna head down on the field. Hey guys, so as I do so many days, I'm gonna finish the vlog here. Uh, we got back from the basketball game, my wife got home from her errands, um, we picked up the house a little bit, some of the kids are going to bed, yeah, we did, some of the kids are going to bed, some of the kids are watching a Christmas movie, and I'm editing, don't do that, I am editing the, the vlog for today. If you haven't, um, I'm going to do most of the acreage bullet catch stuff in a different video, just because of the way things are being demonetized on YouTube right now. Uh, I'm just going to keep that separate and not try to monetize that where I am going to monetize this video. So, um, like I said, I don't make a lot on YouTube videos, but every little penny helps. So I appreciate you guys very much. I appreciate, appreciate you watching the videos. Do you appreciate them? Can you say hi? Say hello. Say bye-bye. Say subscribe to my daddy's channel. Say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? Bye.